is create an app routine one but first notice I have put information in the blue box this is note one so first we're going to go to program I'm going to come down here to note one and I typed in this information for note one now we're going to go to subprogram one and work on the first routine first thing we're going to do is click on this instruction under update we're going to give it a label AA and then replace it then we're going to come down here and say that AA has a comment there it is and we're going to put in there as its comment get the colors and then we'll say enter now we see that that tab has a name get the colors now we're going to put a line underneath there and it's going to be set XS to 40 Here's XS, and we'll click on where we put the number in, 40. And we'll put that below there. Then we're going to set YS to 70. Well, that's a similar instruction, so I'll click that one under Update, and I'll say YS, and then I'll click here and say 70. Whoops. 70 and put that below there so we have an XY position now we're going to set a color and a font oh by the way we can get rid of these green lines by simply clicking above them here so they'll go away they were left there from when we were copying alright I said we were going to do a color line now Let's be color 88. Down here is the color action. We click where to put the number in. We say 88, E to enter. Put that below there. Then we're going to do a font line. Okay, we're going to add a line. Down here with text is font. And our font's going to be 418. 418. Enter that below there. Okay, so we have a color and a font. Well, now we're going to get the text. So we're going to say we're going to put another line. We're going to say it's for text. And here we're simply going to put 40 characters, even though it's going to see a vertical bar before it gets to 40. And where is the text going to be? Well, it has to stay with the program, so it has to be an app page. So I'll say it's in page A. That's where we already put color mixer, so I'm going to put after that. I'm going to put the text here, first color. And put two vertical bars after it. Well, I know I'm also going to put in the second color and the third color, so I'm going to type them in here already. Second color. Put my two vertical bars, third color, and I put my two vertical bars. But now I must remember this first time I print the text, it's supposed to start here at first color. So when I leave here, that's where the cursor has to be sitting. And it says it's at position 13. So when I end here, it's going to put that 13 up here that the text it's supposed to put on the screen is in page A at offset 13. Well, I put that below there. Now, after this text line, we're going to put another line. We're going to add to YS 25. So, we come over here to the action of add. Come here and we get the YS. Notice the green box is over 
the registers that end in S because this is a sub program. All right. Y S is going to be increased by 25. Right there, 25. E, put that line below there. And after it's increased, we're going to do a box N. Another line for box N. There it is. That means box numeric. And then the first thing it says is how many positions? Ten positions. And then it can have a clickable number. So it's going to be click number one. If somebody clicks on it. And then we enter what we want. We click here. And we come down here and what we want is first color. And then we put that line below. Now we're going to add the YS again. We say it new line. Add to YS. What value? 20. And we put that line below. Then we're going to change the color to 999. So we come up here, we go to the color action, and we put in the value position 999. And put that below. Then we're going to do text again. All right, so that's a new line. We're going to come down and say text. And we're just going to put the number 40 in here, although we're not going to put in 40. It's going to run into the vertical bar first. 40. And where is it going to be? It's going to be at page A. And we'll put it right after what we've already done. And here we're going to put the letters... Let's see, K, R, G, B, T, R, G, B. And then we're going to end that with two vertical bars. All right, we're going to end that. Oh, remember to put your cursor back where it's supposed to be. There, at that position. Which here it says is position 53. So when we end... That's the position it puts up here. Page 8, offset 53. Well, we'll put this below there. Well, now, what we've done is we put in the information here for entering the value of first color. Well, we want to enter second color and third color as well. So what we'll do is we're going to copy this. We're going to start at the beginning of it here. Go to the last thing we did here. And here's our yellow highlighted line. Here's our green box of data. And here it says copy green lines below the yellow line. So that's what we're going to do. Now we duplicated these lines. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and make some changes to it. X doesn't change, but the Y position has to change. It has to be lower down. It's going to be at 170. So I'm going to click here in front and put a 1. Then enter that. And now I'm clicking replace because I copied these lines here. And I just want to replace values in them. Okay, so my Y is changed. My color is good. The font's good. However, the text isn't what's at offset 13. I'm going to click here. And I can go right to where the 13 is and click there. And I know this is for the second color. So I click where that text is. And it says it's at 26. I do my X over here and I put 26 in there. So I say I want to replace that line. 
The other time it referred to the, the color was here on this line where we did a box N. So I'm going to click that line and say, no, this isn't for the first color. This one is for the second color, this one. Then I can replace that line. All right, now I think that is all we need to do for that color. Well, these instructions now have to be put in for the third color. Well, I have to come down here and yellow highlight this last line that for the second color. Now I can still go and click copy those green lines below the yellow line. And there it did. Well, I know I have to change the Y value. And that's one was 70, then 170. This one is supposed to be 270. So I'll click in front of there, and I'm going to put the 2 in there. Enter. This is a replacement. I'm replacing that line. Then I come down here. Well, the next line is this one. It needs to be changed. Instead of page A offset 13, I click on that. This is supposed to say third color, so I click on there. Now it's at offset 40. I replace that line. Then I come down here, and I see here it says first color, but I'm doing the third color now. So I click there, and I click here, and then I say third color, and replace that line. So now, I've right away, I've got it asking the value for three colors, first, second, and third. I'm going to make a new variable name called zero blobs. I go to variable names, and up here I typed in zero blobs. Then I hit enter. Now I'm going to continue on here. I set my yellow highlighted line here at the end of third color operation. And now I'm going to set YS to 365. I'm going to come up here, add an instruction. I'm going to do a set YS. That's to a number. 365. Enter. Put that line below. Now I'm going to use that name zero blobs. I'm going to add a new line. I'm going to say branch if equal, that's BEQ, zero blobs. Come down here and get the name, zero blobs, equal to zero. That's right, go to AJ. There's AJ. Put that line below. Now I'm going to create an. Oh, look up here, it's telling me you said to go somewhere that doesn't exist. Missing AJ. All right, well, we're going to make another line. This line is going to be a text line. So we go down here to text. Again, we just have to put a number in there. This time I'm going to put in 50. Doesn't really mean anything as long as it's greater than the actual number of characters I want. And then where's that text going to be? Well, some place that gets saved with the program, page A, and it'll be the next thing that I put in my lines here. It's going to say change to blobs. Then I'm going to put my two vertical bars. And I know that later on I'm going to want to say change to circles. So I'm going to put that in there now. Change to circles. Now again, I know when I leave here, I have to have the cursor sitting at the place where I want the text to be pointing. And there it is. And I'm, well, and it says it's 63. So when I leave here, it puts 63 in there. And then I'll say, I want to put this line below there. All right, there it is. And it says, change the blob. So we did that right. 
All right, I'm going to add another line. This line is going to say go to, and I don't have need a return address, so I'm just going to put X there. And over here, I'm going to put a K. And I put that line below there. Now I'm going to start another line. Well, look, now I have two missing labels, A, J, and A, K. But we'll take care of one of them now. I'm going to add a new line. And I'm going to say it's going to be with the label A, J on it. And it's going to be a text line. I go down here to text. And this number I really don't care about, so I'll make it 50. And here, I'm going to put it in a page that gets saved with a program, page A. And I already put the text down here, so I just have to click on the beginning of it. So I'll offset 80. And I'll end there. And it says 80. And I say I'm going to put that below. Now I only have one problem with label AK. I have my AJ now, which says change the circles. Now, below that line, we're going to put the one with the label AK, and we'll get rid of this problem. This is going to be AK. And it's going to be instruction that says it's going to box the 16 characters and give it click number 4. So, okay, here we're going to say, uh, box. All right, there it is, box. Box 16 characters. And those characters are going to be click number four. And we'll put that line below. Well, now that just reminded me about click numbers. Our first box end up here was click number one. Well, that can't be used again for another box end. They each have to have their own click number. And when I change this line, I should have made it click number two. And I'll replace it. Well, then I have to go down here to the other box then, which also got copied as click number one, and change it to click number three. Well, you see, I got reminded of that because I just set this last thing to click number four. Why did I do that? Well, because I've used one, two, and three. It's click number four. So now I can go on. I'm going to check to see if it was clicked. So below that line, I'm going to do a click. There it is. On that number four. And if it isn't clicked, I'm going to go to AL. Put that line below there. All right. And after that, that means they clicked. So I have to do a little bit of math down there. Okay, first, I'm going to say add to my variable here, zero blobs, the value of one. And then right after that, I'm going to mod it with a one, oh, no, two. I'm going to mod zero blobs with two. What happens if I add one to it and mod it with two, it's either going to be a zero or a one. A zero or a one. Each time it comes through here, it'll change it to the other one. All right, now, look, we still have missing AL, but we're going to take care of that now. By updating the home line here and putting that label AL on it. There, AL. 
and then we're going to replace it now we don't have any errors anymore about that all right well now we entered that in there and this time as like before well for, let me get rid of the green lines that was our green box that we copied all right now we want to see if this actually works but before we do that again we're going to save it we're going to save the application last time we saved it as a now we're going to save it as B okay now if we're brave enough to execute this thing here we go we executed it all right now look here's what we just did this is that routine tab one it says first color it shows the value here 700 and here it shows underneath the digits of the color what they're for well that seven is for red the zero for green the zero for blue so that's a uh, medium red color down here the second color says six above the T which is for transparent so this color is going to be pretty transparent it's also going to be a bright red and a little green and a little blue and the third color down here also is quite transparent some red and a little bit of green and blue and down below here it says change the circles so right now it must be doing blobs but we haven't done that part yet but let's see if this works if I say change the circles what will it say it says change the blobs then and then I can click on that and I change back again all right so instead of my going through all the instructions and explaining what it does here you see what it does well this is the video for create an app routine one